Sam Davidson here giving you your weekly Hollywood roundup. Whether it's celebrity breakups, makeups, feuds, or breaking news, we are here to give you the top three stories of the week right here, right now. It's official, you guys. The Jonas Brothers are back together after a six-year hiatus. On March 1st, they released their music video for their new single, Sucker For You, and it was awesome. The song is not only catchy and reminiscent of the good old Jonas Brothers days, but the music video features each one of their significant others in the cutest way possible. That's right, in this stunning music video, we get to see Sophie Turner, Priyanka Chopra, and Danielle Jonas. This pop song is about the brothers being head over heels for their ladies, and they sing to them in the sexiest, most avant-garde way possible in this really fun music video. The single and the music video couldn't get us more excited about the reunion of the Jonas Brothers trio. We hope that they release more songs and the rest of them are as catchy as this one. In some very sad news, former 90210 star and current Riverdale dad Luke Perry has suffered a stroke. The 52-year-old forever heartthrob is currently being hospitalized in Los Angeles after an ambulance was called to his home this past Wednesday. There are currently conflicting stories as to whether Perry is in a medically induced coma or is currently being sedated. Regardless, no one is quite sure of the beloved actor's actual condition. News of the actor's medical crisis comes on the heel of a big announcement in the 90210 world, which is that Fox is rebooting the original series with a six-episode order this summer. While Perry was not confirmed as one of the actors announced in the 90210 reboot, he has always said that he would love to play Dylan again, so fans were super excited to see if and when he would be announced in the cast. We truly hope that Perry has a swift recovery and that he is going to be back on our TV screens in no time. In breaking news, Jordan Woods has officially broken her silence. This Friday morning, she appeared on Jada Pinkett Smith's talk show, Red Table Talk, to open up about what really happened last week in regards to the scandal with Tristan Thompson and Khloe Kardashian. This episode marks Woods' first official comments after she supposedly hooked up with Tristan Thompson last week, who, as we all know, is Khloe Kardashian's former boyfriend and father to her child. Woods' family has actually been very tight with the Pinkett Smiths even before Woods was even born, as Woods' late father worked on the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air with Will Smith himself. Woods explains the night as follows. She went out to dinner with some friends, they went to a bar afterwards to drink and dance, and then after the night was over, they decided to go to a house party, which just so happened to be at Khloe Kardashian's boyfriend's house, Tristan Thompson. From what Woods describes, there was some light flirting going on all night, which obviously was very inappropriate. And when she left in the wee hours of the morning, when a lot of the other party attendees left, Tristan stopped her, asked her if she wanted to stay, and then kissed her on the lips. She quickly told him that she needed to leave, and she did so. After leaving the party, she did contact Chloe and Kylie to tell her that she was at Thompson's home that evening. However, she left out one very important part, that he kissed her. There are a lot of conflicting reports out there, but in this interview, Woods is sticking to her story that they kissed, it was one time and nothing more. Throughout the interview, Woods even said several times that she was willing to take a lie detector test to prove to the Kardashian-Jenner clan that it was just a kiss and nothing else happened. She said that she has apologized to Chloe over text and on the phone, but has not had the opportunity to do so in person. She also said that while she greatly regrets her actions, that she is not the reason Tristan and Chloe are no longer together. After the interview came out this morning, Chloe was quick to clap back via Twitter, calling Woods a liar, saying that she is indeed the reason why her family has broken up. Whose side are you on? Do you believe Woods? Do you think that the Kardashian-Jenner clan is being a little bit too hard on her? Or are there things that we don't know about that are yet to be released? We hope that you have enjoyed this weekly Hollywood Roundup. Let us know what you thought about these stories in the comments below, and we'll see you next week.